Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let A be the area of the region which is given to us in the set form as x, comma y where it is given to us x is between 0 to 3 or x goes from 0 to 3 and y goes from 0 to the other expression that is given to us here is less than or equal to minimum of x square plus 2 that's a parabola or 2x plus 2 which is a line. And then the question tells us let this is a. Question is asking us to figure out the value of 12 times a. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here the options are 144, 154, 164 and 184. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve the question and let's figure out which of them is the correct answer choice. So if I talk about this question, before starting off with the solution for the question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve the question further. So we have been told area is consisting of the coordinates x and y where x is from 0 to 3. So if I have x from 0 to 3, this is my y axis. This is my x axis. So I have x, I have y with me. Once I have x and y with me, x goes from 0 to 3. So if I see x 0, let's say 1, 2, 3. So x 3 here. So I have this line as my x equals to 3. So this becomes x equals to 3. This is your line x equals to 0. So your values of or the area which is there lies between this two only. And for y coordinates, it's given to me. Y is greater than or equal to 0. So here if I see y greater than or equal to 0, this is your line y greater than or equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. Greater than 0 means it is somewhere up. So basically till now the common region is between these three lines. So it cannot be in the third quadrant, fourth quadrant or second quadrant. The entire solution is in the first quadrant. Now the important part is saying is y is less than or equal to minimum of x square plus 2 or 2x plus 2. So first let's plot these two curves. So x square plus 2 we know is a parabola and 2x plus 2 is a line. So first of all, if I put y equals to 2x plus 2 and plot that first. I know y equals to 2x plus 2. The y-intercept of this is 2. So it is intersecting at 0, 2. And 2x means the slope is positive. So slope is positive some like, somewhere like this. And further, if I see, this is your line x equals to 3. So this is 3, 0. So this coordinate we need to figure out. So if I figure out this coordinate, this coordinate is intersection of x equals to 3 and this line. So if I put x equals to 3 here, I get 2 into 3, 6, 6 plus 2. So that is 8. So I get this coordinate as 3, 8. Now, let's also plot the second curve, which is basically your parabola, which is given to us here in this question, which is y equals to x square plus 2. So y equals to x square plus 2. Again, here also, if I see the y coordinate of this or y intercept of this curve is also 2. So if I put x as 0, y intercept for this also turns 2. So your parabola has also this coordinate 0, 2. Also, if I want to find the intersection point of the line and the parabola, I will solve the two equations simultaneously. 
So I get 2x plus 2 is equals to x square plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 cancels. You get x square equals 2x. So if I take everything on one side, I get x square minus 2x equals 0. x common, x minus 2 equals 0. So I get from here x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. So you have the two values. One is x equals to 0. Already we know that's your intersection of line and parabola. The other is x equals to 2. So x equals to 2 means somewhere here. So you get this at x equals to 2 if I find what is y. So if I want to find x equals to 2, what is y? 2 square plus 2. So y becomes 4. So you get at, you know, 2 square, which is 4, 4 plus 2. So you get from here 6. So basically it is 2 comma 6. So I have my parabola somewhere like this. And it's passing through two coordinates and going like this. So this is how your parabola looks. Now, the question tells me that y is less than or equal to minimum of the line and the parabola. So if I see, if I show it to you with the other color, let's see this. So if I show it to you now, minimum of the two lines and parabola, the region is between them. So if I see for the values of x from 0 to 2, it is this region because the parabola is minimum compared to a line. But for this region, if I see, it is the line. So minimum is this much part. So basically, I have to find the area. So A, basically, which is there, that A represents this entire area, which we have shaded in purple. That is basically given by two regions. One is 0 to 2 and the other is 2 to 3. And if I show it to you with your vertical strip, so from 0 to 2, it is between this parabola and the line y equals to 0. And from 2 to 3, it is between the line and the other line y equals to 0. So the line y equals to 2x plus 2. And this is your parabola's equation y equals to x squared plus 2. So you have two strips. So if I want to find the area A, let's do it. So area A, it goes from the limits of x 0 to 2. And when it goes from the limits of x equals uh, from 0 to 2, I have the idea as y dx and from 2 to 3 it goes from y dx so if i see from 0 to 2 y dx means it is between the parabola and this line so parabola's equation is x square plus 2 the line's equation is 0 so x square plus 2 minus 0 dx the other 2 to 3 y in this case is 2x plus 2 because the first line minus the other line 0. So this is the region between the two lines. So if I solve this 0 to 2, x square plus 2, dx, 2 to 3, 2x plus 2, dx. So here I get x cube by 3 plus 2x. Limits goes from 0 to 2. Here you get 2x square over 2 plus 2x. The limits are from 2 to 3. So if I solve for this, let's see what I get. So if I solve for this, I get 2 cube. So that is 8 over 3 plus 2 into 2, 4. Plus this gets cancelled. X square, which is 3 square. Because the lower limit, if you apply 0, this is going to turn out 0. So it is no use writing here. Plus if I just solve for the next case, X square, so 3 square, which is 9. Plus 2 into 2, which is 4. minus 2 square, which is 4, 2 into 2, which is again 4. So here, 2 into, if I apply the upper limit, it should be 2 into 3, which is 6, not 4. So we should change this to 6. So I get from here 8 over 3 plus 4. This becomes 15 and minus 8, so 7. So we have 8 over 3 plus 4 plus 7. So if I solve for this, 4 plus 7 gives you 8 over 3 plus 11. And this does not have a denominator of 3, so I have to give it a denominator of 3. So I'll multiply both sides, numerator and denominator with 3. So that gives you 33 plus 8, which is 41 divided by 3. So I get 41 divided by 3. Once I get 41 divided by 3, that's my value of A. So I want to figure out the value of 12A, not just A. So 12 into 41 over 3, 3 ones, 3 fours. 4 times 1, which is 4, 4 times 4, which is 16. So from this, I get the answer turning out to become 164. And that basically matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here.
I hope you have understood how to figure out this question, how to solve this question using the concepts of integrals. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.